can't thank everyone enough for joining me in this next Infinite Warfare video with me, Spongy Gaming. It really means a lot to me, guys. So thank you so much for finding the time to watch it. Really appreciate it. But anyway, back to the video. We're concentrating now on the third shotgun on the list, which is the DCM-8 shotgun. Now, the DCM-8 is a full auto energy shotgun. It has rapid fire capability and is supported by a high capacity power cell. Now, that sounds all very... Um, interesting, very fantastic, but trust me guys, it is the worst shotgun I've used so far out of the four. It also has the least range damage. It's only got 18, so we're lacking in the range. Now there are improvements we can make on with the attachments and the perks to help along with that, but it doesn't feel as reliable as the Reaver or the Banshee did when I was using that. It will take maybe about four to five games, guys, to warm up with this weapon first, and I would recommend that you do that. It is very different compared to the Reaver and the Banshee. I would still recommend running and gunning, okay, even though the kills will feel very weak. You'll feel like you're not going to get that kill 100% of the time like you would the Banshee or the Reaver. So it's 50-50, but you'll need 200 kills, guys, and then you'll work your way to the Zebra, and then you'll get 160 hip fire kills with that. It shouldn't take you too long, but warm up with that gun first to get used to it, guys. You're going to need to do that. Now, there is a prototype weapon that I can um, recommend to you, which is the Contingency in the Quartermaster. It's a rare weapon. You've got Deathbringer as an ability and also Sharpshooter. So with the Deathbringer, it doubles the kills instantly to reload your magazine, so that will help you when you come to your rapid kills and also your three kills without dying 20 times. And also, the Sharpshooter will increase our ranged damage. Now, remember, we need that, but it's going to stack with the Particle Amp. So we definitely need to have that on because remember this is the worst for the range of damage from any shotgun. There are other weapons obviously that you can have for the DCMA. It's up to you what one you choose. But out of all these, I mean I haven't unlocked the epic ones there yet. I didn't feel that the actual abilities had any benefits with what I was trying to achieve with the, the camo unlocks. But the contingency was the best one because we needed that increased damage. But this is the particle amp that you'll need to place on it and then that will increase your range from 18 up another 13, so 31 in total. So that's gonna help. It is still the least ranged shotgun weapon though, so it still makes it quite difficult to get that long range kill if you need it. Now, another attachment is the quick draw. Again, like any shotgun, they do feel pretty sluggish when you lift the aim up if you are going to aim in at any enemy, so I'd recommend having that quick draw on. Now the perks for any other shotguns that I've used so far, if you watch my other videos guys on the shotguns, I really appreciate it, but they don't change. I keep the same perks all the way through because they really do help me. I definitely love Dead Silence, not just for the shotguns, but I love them for any other weapon that I'm using. The Dead Silence is perfect for sneaking up behind the enemy to get the point blank kill as I said previous in other shotgun videos. Gung Ho is going to help you as well to get the aim up if that's what you want or even it's going to help you with the hip fire because you can get that kill instantly. Now the Autumn Camo, you're then going to need to get 25 point blank medals. Now the point blank medals, I don't need to go through this too much guys, you've seen this in other shotgun videos, you need to get close to the enemy like that and get a point blank. You can do that all day every day with this weapon, even though it is one of the worst shotguns as I said, but you can still get the point blanks quite easily. The whiteout, this is the slide in challenge where you need to get 50 kills. Now you know by now how to do this guys, I have helped you with my other shotguns in giving you the advice and recommendation to have the button layout as tactical. So I'm going to just show you that one more time guys in case you don't know. I'm not going to show you any videos on the slime because, again, you can get them all day, every day with these shotgun weapons. They are very easy. It'll be pointless. I just want to get on with the video and uh, show you the main important things that I need to help you with. I would have the sensitivity again at 15. It does, does really help me. You can have that a bit higher if you want for a more insane way of playing. But then for the Bengal. 50 kills with this weapon with no attachments. Now, without attachments on this weapon, it becomes even worse. Good luck with that, guys. It will take you a bit of time, but you only need 50 kills. You will get them. It's, you know, it will be hard, but keep with it. The murdered out camo. This is getting two rapid kills now 20 times with the weapon. Now, again, if you're using hardcore, like I would recommend to everybody, play game plays such as domination, kill confirm, those kind of things. They seem to be my best personal favorites. But you need to keep running and gunning with the with the actual weapon that you're using. That way then you can run into the enemy spawn, you can run into areas where enemy are going to be flocking from, and you can get those two rapid kills really. So I'm just showing you the videos here guys of some of the rapid kills that I got, just to show you that you can get them fairly easy. And it is an easy challenge, but like I said, with this weapon you will need to warm up with it first, so you get used to it, get used to where you need to obviously have your gun for that kind of hit fire kill if you're, you're aiming to do that. 
But like I said, I'm not that impressed with this weapon. I'm so pleased I got it to go because I probably will never use this one again. I much prefer the Banshee and uh, the Reaver myself, and even the Rack 9. The Rack 9, the last one I'm going to show you guys in the last video of completing the diamond camos for these weapons, is awesome. Now, the Neon Tiger, you need to get three kills 20 times without dying. It is easy to do, guys. Um, you just need to keep on the run. Just keep your sights up. And again, the gung-ho is going to help you with that quick draw. You're going to get that hit fire kill reasonably quick. Remember, you don't need to get rapid kills. You don't need to get those three kills all in succession. They just need to come at any time just before you die, okay? So you can get rid of... I mean, I played Domination a lot with the DCM8, and it did help me to get those three kills. I found that... Because uh, I keep experimenting, guys. I keep testing things out, and it just seemed like sometimes Domination was probably the best to get the three kills, even though I'm showing you kill confirmed here on the Precinct map. We'll nick a care patch package from the enemy when you get a chance as well. well that's all handy, but it's a shame it was only a scarab. But never mind, we're still going to take his package anyway. But like I said, you can run and gun with this. It's not as reliable and as confident as the Banshee or the Reaver would be. But um, you can still easily get those three kills. But that's the end I'm going to show you guys on the DCM8. I'm just pleased that it's to gold now. But that's what it looks like at gold. And I did show you some gameplay with it at gold. And then I'm going to show you the diamond for it. Because we've already got all four shotguns at gold as you know. So it's just leaving it now for the Rack 9 left to do. And that is my preferred shotgun, the Rack 9. So we're going from the DCM8, which is my worst shotgun, to my preferred one, which is the Rack 9. I can't wait to show you that video, guys. But I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you join me on the next video for that Rack 9. I'm going to show you how to easily get that to gold. And um, I really do appreciate you watching this video. Take care, guys. Please like the video if you have liked it. And please do not forget to subscribe. I've got loads of Call of Duty videos. And I'm helping you every single time I can to get these weapons to gold and then eventually that black sky. Take care guys, speak to you soon.